Council needs to do. We're electing you to stand up for us to make sure our voices are heard. And if you're not doing that, and if you haven't done it in 34 years, are you really going to do that in the next two years? Susan Savage has the experience, knowledge, and passion uh, that we can use in our community. We want a government made up of good people who are, will fight for the good people of the 44th District and the state of New York. Thank you. And uh, it's just time for a change. Uh, Farley's been there 34 years, as Susan said. He's been a part of the problem, and it's time to get some new faces in on Do you agree with that? That we have to do things differently. And we're not going to do things differently when we have a state senate that is filled with very long-term incumbents. Um, I'm an upstater. I know what it's like. I know that the, the business of farming is different than other businesses. And it needs to be treated differently. I believe it is time that we have a woman representing our district, the 44th Senate District. Someone who's going to listen to our needs and will go to Albany to fight for those needs. What I need now in my colleagues is colleagues like Susan Savage. Yes. But this is where it's at. We have brought home more work for our members here because of the efforts of Sue Savage. If you want a leadership role, you need to take a leadership role. And you need to stand up to those good old boys. You need to stand up to the entrenched interests. I'm voting for Susan Savage for State Senate because I believe that she's what we need. You know, we've had enough of the dysfunction within our current State Senate, and we need the change. Another room, you know what we can do together. When we get people to work together, um, we, we can't be stopped. And with all of you knocking on doors, spreading the word, going to your brothers and sisters in the labor movement, um, that word is going to get out of there, and we're going to have a great victory on November 2nd. But the answer is we can't afford to do things the way we've always mm -hmm. done them, because a lot of these things haven't worked very well if you actually sit down and think about the senator who sees me for me as a human being and not looking at me as a woman who's less than who's going to vote for issues that are important for the entire population and not support issues just because their friends fellow senators are saying hey yeah let's all vote on this working together works and today's success is really uh, the culmination of people working together the other is jobs Job creation is at the heart of what government needs to do. What we need is a strong voice who will stand up for upstate New York.